woman in the whole world. Child of God. High Excellency uh, Mama Rachel Ruto, First Lady of the Republic of the Great Republic of Kenya. Honorable Minister Judith Navakova, Minister of Lands, we are now standing in representing the First Lady of the Republic of Uganda, Mama Janet Seven. Judges of the High Court, Supreme Court, members of Parliament, pastors. Ladies and gentlemen, praise the Lord. Amen. My job is to stand here and acknowledge and thank some people. First and foremost, I want to recognize Her Majesty the Queen of Mitego Kingdom. She came here all the way from DRC Congo to be with us here today with our family. Come on, give them a hand clap. I know many of you have been recognized and others. Please, um, all protocol, sir. First and foremost, I want to thank the first lady because she cut her trip short in India so that she can be on this function today. Such a love, such a heart. It is not really found. So I want to thank His Excellency President Ruto for trusting you with us. And we've been running you crazy since morning. And we don't know how you are keeping up at this particular time. But I know one thing because she's a woman of prayer. I remember one time when we had gone to see Pastor Benny and I arrived when she had already arrived in the room and she had turned the whole room into a prayer altar. And uh, I came in and I said, I wanted to say hello. They said, no. And the security said, no, she's still praying. And she was praying for six hours. I thought I used to pray until I heard of her and I met her. Madam First Lady, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I also want to thank our First Lady in Uganda for sending us a sister, Honorable Judith Nawakova, and uh, to represent her on this function. East Africa is blessed, especially Uganda and Kenya to have such great women of God. Great women of God are fascinating. We are so grateful to God. Now, we want to thank everybody. Pastor Bob, thank you so much for being in the life of our son when we were this way. For allowing your son to bring his friend home <clears throat> at your house. Please thank God and thank your wife for us because these two boys could eat everything in the house <laughs> and she couldn't complain. And uh, he's a farmer, so there's much more we've learned that shared from each other. And he reared cows and, and we, we have learned a lot apart from revival and the things of God. Thank you. Mas, Malina's parents, thank you so much as Pastor Jessica said. We can't thank you enough. We can't thank you enough. But now we are family. We're going to kill each other. Now I'm just joking. Grandma, thank you so much for that dance. We appreciate it in Jesus' name. And my brothers and everybody else. My points are only one, two, three, four. After thanking everybody. Thank you, committee. Thank you, the drivers. Thank you that people have been working so much. Thank you, security. Thank you, our forces, for having put up something that usually does not happen like that. The Pastor Jessica said, we've been going through a lot of challenges in the past. It culminated with a bomb at our church. So with all the threats, with all the attacks, with all everything, we thank God we are still alive. We are still alive, and uh, we have seen 
Robert's wedding, which the enemy did not want us to see. So some of you who know already, you know what I'm talking about. Therefore, we want to thank all of you for coming and being with us. Thank you so, so much. From the least to the greatest. Thank you so much. Thank you, Sister Eileen. Most of the time, people don't thank you or they don't mention Eileen Kisapa. Thank you so much for the work you are doing and the Lord reward you for being such a, a humble but very powerful person in the office wherever you are standing. Thank you so, so much in Jesus' name. Now, Professor, my Mukodo, I Professor, Nawangwe, Vice Chancellor of Makere University. Thank you. I've been working with Nam immediately. The church of Michel Bogotin, we went over now I immediately. Uh-huh. So I will be very more. So prayers are not on that because of that. Pastors, thank you for coming and thank you for praying with us. We struggled to have a child for five years. So those of you who are struggling to have children. Not for sure that God answers prayer. Amen. God answers prayer. Amen. And uh, everybody said she cannot have a child. That's it, period. And then what would have been our firstborn? It was a terrible miscarriage. We were moving from countries to countries, going in Hussein, and I nearly lost her. And the doctors in the UK, Greenwich Hospital, they said, let's remove the uterus. That's when I walked out. And uh, then my brother John stepped in. By the way, Robert, uh, John now is buried, Lord Bishop. John said to me, with Lady Margaret, they have a message. I hope these people have been able to get it to. Uh, he, he was caught up. He wanted to be here, but he was caught up. He's now a member of House of Lords, and England is going through certain changes. And he being, having been a lawyer, now he has been put on a, on, a, on, a, on a committee which is very, very serious, which is dealing with, and it had to happen today. So that's why he put, but he had a message for you, I don't know, maybe you'll hear it, but it was very, very touching. He said, I mean, he was the one who saw you. Me, I was preaching, and uh, I wasn't there. So Uncle Ted, that's why he always married in a great family. Well, when you are not there, you can turn them into your slaves. <laughs> and uh, they can do the job for you. So, I got it. Thank you. Thank God now we don't have children. Otherwise, we'll be sending them to you to raise them. But thank you so much. I think if they're ready for the video. Okay, let's listen to Uncle John. Very dear, on this day, as you enter into holy marriage. Robert Junior, we held you in our hands a few hours after you came into this world. Our prayer over you was Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 to 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not rely on your own insight. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make straight your paths. We believe the Lord has been leading you thus far, and he will lead you safely home. Sorry we could not be with you physically, but we are with you in the spirit. As you take this momentous decision to be married, united with Christ as is united with his church, showing us what the Church of Christ ought to be full of joy, of love, of care, of forgiveness, of compassion. Your parents have given you an example of what marriage is, and the Lord is standing with you to strengthen you, to give you his peace, to give you joy. Margaret and I said to you, rejoice, rejoice, rejoice. Again we say, Rejoice. Now, the, uh, the other thing I want to say is to thank 
my wife, Jessica, Sempre Wakayanji, for being such a, a great mother and her ways of our children. When I looked at her when she was dancing here, I was just memories coming. And I said, I wish every mother have a moment to dance with her son. We will have fewer drug addicts. We will have fewer wayward kids. When the love of a mother is stretched to the sons, it becomes powerful. Thank you for the work you have done. You have to do People don't know how hard you work. You always say, I worked too hard. But you make my work easy. She's a donkey. She does all the work and I get all the glory. So it is marvelous. Her insight, her thoughts, her patterns, her, her, her th sometimes she comes up with an idea. I think we can do this. I think this thing can turn like this. Like for this whole thing you see even at the church, I looked at her and I said, Mara Shete, Rebo Shete. Are you losing your mind? But actually she was saying something more of us were not seeing. So I want to thank you, honey. Thank you so much for being such a visionary and such a loving person and such someone who has all our family together. To God be the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Now Robert is married. Robert produced children, 21 sets of twins. Your mother will help you raise them. So me, I will just look at them and say, hey kids, go back to your house. Uh, so we are grateful. Marina, we love you. We love you to pieces. And uh, Devin, thank you so much for being in the life of Robert. I want to thank another person who is Devin Paul, Nathan Devin Paul. Nathan Devin Paul has been in the life of, uh, of Robert and his parents, Brian Devin Paul. So, so much. Sometimes Robert would leave the university, it's a crap holiday, and then he would fly to Texas and be with the Devin Paul. We want to thank you, Nathan. I know you are watching, and your parents. Thank you so, so much. Nathan was the first director of our ministry in the U.S., and um, then before Pastor Chris, after, I don't know where Pastor Chris Sutton is. Come on, Pastor Chris Sutton, thank you so much. We needed to get the wings of these people. And, um, and then, uh, Everybody had left the U.S. And uh, Nathan had them. And uh, so we said, what are we going to do? So Pastor Chris has a young family, wonderful ministry. He and his father, they pastor one of the greatest church of America in Roswell, Georgia. He had to get fly out of uh, Atlanta and then go to Dallas to catch a flight in order to be here on Friday so that Robert you can have and Marina brings your fingers. So we are grateful to God. We are grateful to God for such people. Thank you so, so much. Words cannot express our thanksgiving. Thank you so much. Everybody who is here, who is our friends and relatives, thank you so much. They told me Apostle Alex Mitala is one of the, the greatest evangelists Uganda has ever had. I saw him when he was struggling preaching, and that's why I never wanted to preach, because he was always having a briefcase, and he had water in it, and then wobble in it, and his pants as well. So he used to have them together in one briefcase. And I said, if you guys want to preach, go ahead and preach, do that. Now, I want to uh, conclude with this. We are most grateful that you could find time to come and celebrate our children's life together. We pray that also you, God will bless you. Amen. God will bless you and after you and favor you and increase you and multiply you. Now, allow me because of time to invite the Honorable Minister of Land now as standing in as Minister of Courtesy, Honorable Judith Navakova.
as she's coming to deliver the message of Uganda's first lady, Mama Jane. 